This portion of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited, fueling growth for people. Welcome back to the Bahamas Tonight Weekend. U.S. Embassy officials revealing that there are almost 30 extradition requests before the Office of the Attorney General. U.S. Charge d'Affaires John Armstrong says the U.S. is working closely with Bahamian law enforcement and the Attorney General's office to extradite criminals who are in the Bahamas, a vast majority of them Bahamians who have committed crimes in the U.S. Right now there's 29 um, extradition requests outstanding, people that we'd love to take back and try in the United States. Some of them, unfortunately, have been outstanding for many years, but we work closely with Bahamian law enforcement and the Attorney General to bring these people to justice or to give them their day in court in the United States. It's normal between our country and other countries, between the Bahamas. I'm sure the Bahamas has filed for extradition of people from other countries, too, that have committed crimes in the Bahamas. This is normal. Drug Enforcement Unit officers arrested two men ages 24 and 26 years old and a 31-year-old male resident of Mayfield Park, Grand Bahama, after reportedly being found in possession of an estimated two kilos of suspected cocaine around 6.30 last night at the Linden Pinling International Airport. Preliminary reports indicate that the Grand Bahama resident was, was in LPIA's domestic departure lounge when officers searched his luggage, which was earmarked for Exuma, and discovered the drugs. Then several minutes later, Around 6.50 last night, drug enforcement officers in Exuma searched the two women at the Exuma International Airport and confiscated an additional quantity of suspected cocaine. Police report that the suspected cocaine has a street value of $32,000. An active police investigation continues. A 23-year-old male of Pinewood Gardens is detained in serious condition in hospital tonight after allegedly being shot by police around 310 this morning in the South Beach area. Preliminary reports indicate that the victim, along with a 21-year-old man, were driving a white Honda Fit, which police say was suspected of being stolen in the South Beach area when they reportedly fired gunshots at police. Police returned fire, which resulted in a 23-year-old victim being shot and the second man being injured as a result of their vehicle crashing into a home on Valencia Drive in South Beach. Meanwhile, the 21-year-old was treated and discharged. However, he remains in police custody. Police report that they, are, they also confiscated two handguns along with a large quantity of ammunition from the suspects. An active police investigation into that matter continues. An 18-year-old male is also detained in hospital tonight in stable condition after being shot to the leg yesterday morning while in the area of West Street and Dorset Alley. Police report that it was around 10.20 a.m. when the victim was reportedly approached and subsequently shot by a masked male. Police are appealing to residents who may have any information regarding this incident to contact police immediately. It's been in the making for a long time, and now it's a reality. Today, dozens of residents and business partners hosted their first ever Fort Charlotte Family Fun Day on the historic Fort Charlotte grounds. The event brought the community together and showcased the many talents of the young people in that area. Organizers are hoping to make it an annual event the last Saturday in April each year. Co-chairman of the Fort Charlotte Advisory Committee, Cindy Knowles. First event, we are reaching out to the Persis Rogers home. Um, we have some of the residents here with us today, our seniors. And then on, on the other end, we're also assisting our youth by taking some of the proceeds to purchase instruments for the youth uh, Fort Charlotte Band. And um, with me, I have the public relations uh, of the committee and also another committee members here. And together, we've teamed up with Urban Renewal 2.0 team to put today's event together. And really, without everybody out there doing the footwork mouth to mouth, because we're starting this off with a zero dollar budget. And this is what we got together and put together today. Officer in charge of the Fort Charlotte Urban Renewal Inspector Denzel Barr is pleased to partner with the residents of Fort Charlotte for such a good, wholesome activity. Fort Charlotte Day is actually to partnership with residents of the community in good, wholesome fun and activities. On Fort Charlotte, the ground that we stand in itself is historic in itself, just as the resident of the community itself. And so we thought a way to do a first ground breaker of such an event, like other community has, like Yam Bay and Fox Hill and other family and community has their particular day. We think that the residents deserve their day, that they can come out and interact and be in the team by good wholesome fun. 
And that does it for this portion of the news. The National Family Island Regatta is in full gear. Julian Gibson is up next with sports.